Hi, I'm Billy Piper and I play Effie in We Play Games and this is my Audible 8. What's your favourite sound? My favourite sound is when you measure out fabric on a fabric table in a haberdashery shop and you hear the scissors cut against the fabric on that particular plasticky table. What's your favourite accent to do that's not your own? Well, my homegrown accent is my favourite accent to revisit. I speak like this because it was sort of bred out of me at drama school and also when I first moved to London I was surrounded by people who spoke like this so that's um, why I now sound like this but my original my Swindonian accent is probably the most fun can you give us a little bit of I that? knew it All right, my lover it's a bit like that it's West Country show us your favourite emoji with just your face <laughs> that's the face melter <laughs> what's your favourite game to play one of my favourite games to play is Heads Up with my kids. We love that. Well, I like to play it with anyone, but um, it's it's a particular family favourite. What's your favourite line in We Play Games? The one that sticks out, and I think it's it, because it's it seems to be the couple's motto, um, is no lies, no ties. Good motto for life. Describe We Play Games in 10 words or less. Intense, sexual, sexy, sadistic, dark, abusive, thrill-seeking. That must cover it. Three more. Oh. Um, demanding. Um, damaging. <laughs> but read it. Um, or better yet, you must listen to me read it for you. Would you rather be able to talk to animals or read people's minds? I'd much rather be able to read people's minds than talk to animals. Any further comment? <laughs> <laughs> Talking to animals, you're not, you're not up for that? I don't want to talk to animals. I like to hold animals and it, it's nice to not have the nuance of language and just exist on something quite um, emotional and primitive and um, instinctive as opposed to just um, mind games, mind games, mind games. <laughs> drama, 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 truth. What one book would you take with you to a desert island? I mean, if I, was, if I were to go to a desert island, I'd probably want to take some sort of survival manual. But if it were, if it was something for enjoyment, or relaxation. Oh God, what would it be? Um, <laughs> I was going to say the Jolly Postman, but that's just because it's on my mind a lot lately. <laughs> it, not the Jolly Postman. I, I, I tell you what, I would take anything by Deborah Levy. She released four books sort of back to back, and they're quite short, but they're that that. Um, they're very, very potent and beautifully written and particularly good um, if you're a woman, I think. <laughs>